Morning folks. Just had my hair cut. Hair cuts. I'm in the van today. I'm off to do a course on Dutch oven cooking with an old mate of mine, Kevin Palmer. He used to run the fermenting course, if you recall, if you've watched that video, part two coming very soon. This is an all day course doing Dutch oven cooking and uh, Kevin's website is fire, ferment and smoke, firefermentsmoke.uk. Kevin and his partner, Adam, they're both running these classes over in, I'm just going north of Bedford. I've got a, quite a circuitous little route that I know that I'm gonna take today. Um, the time now is 20 past nine. Aiming to get there quarter to 10. I better go. Catch up when we're there. Well, the journey to their open barn took me about 25 minutes and when I arrived, they were setting up and getting everything ready for the briefing. Just in time for a nice cup of tea. In my mind, you know, a lot of people possess, may possess a Dutch oven um, or be looking to buy one. But I think a lot of people uh, just imagine you boil a stew in it and that's, and that's it. You know, maybe you see some people baking bread and other stuff. And for me, I think that's the whole essence of this course. It was really about showing how diverse a piece of kit the Dutch oven is. And it wasn't just showing us all the different things that it can do. It was actually teaching us how to physically use it and all the different types of setup that you can adopt to get the best from this wonderful piece of kit. As Kevin mentioned in his introduction, I think a lot of people imagine a Dutch oven is simply just for making stews and nothing could be further from the truth. It was to show people the versatility of this amazing bit of kit and, and how it could be used for so many different things. You know, so we, we covered cold smoking, hot smoking, ground ovens, hay boxes, making ice cream, uh, frying, bain marines, you name it. Uh, and we just wanted to demonstrate that this one bit of kit can be used in so many different ways. And let's not forget the amazing ability for this Dutch oven setup to make bread. And this bread was spectacular. Uh, yeah, I'm, it has, and it has actually caught a little bit. So that sounds hollow to me. So I think that's got done with that one. And it was off to another project which we were going to put into the hay box. So what's in this one, Mel? Uh, so there's uh, red cabbage, sliced onion, grated apple, mixed spice, a little bit of vinegar, some sugar, salt and pepper. So everything, all oh, garlic. And garlic as well. Lovely. And that's just going to heat up. And we're going to put it on that one. All right, yeah. So the idea here is we are going to braise this cabbage, but before it goes into the hay box, we need to bring it up to the boil and get all that cabbage and all the other ingredients in there melded together. So the lid can then go on. That will then go into this insulated box and we'll visit it at a later point in the day. Kevin and Adam then went on to show us how a Dutch oven can be used as a means of cooking in the ground using hot stones. This is a wonderful little technique where we put the pot in the ground surrounded by hot stones that had been warmed by the fire, covered it over with some earth and it revealed later in the day this beautiful roast joint of pork and it's not just savory things that can be made on a dutch oven we made this fantastic cheesecake which was sat on top of a washing machine drum improvised fire but also we made some ice cream as well using one dutch oven within another to create a refrigerator using some salted ice acting as a brine. That worked incredibly effectively. But the cheesecake for me was a real revelation because it's a delicate thing and it needed to be cooked very carefully. And the Dutch oven was very sympathetic in how it produced the end result. 
I asked the guys what they thought people would get from attending this course. To see that versatility, so if they've got a Dutch oven at home, they, they can actually start using it for, for all the different things that it's good for. Um, but also giving, showing people, uh, giving people the confidence. You know, it's a hands-on course that we try and get everyone participating. So when they go away, they've got that experience, they've seen it done, and hopefully they've got the confidence then to go out and do it themselves. I think the Dutch oven's seen as like a bit of an iconic piece of expeditionary or, or will this equipment which it absolutely is but it doesn't stop people from using it at home and I think now more than ever with Covid and the, I mean just the, the fuel crisis the cost of living crisis you know you can you can cook these amazing meals even if you've got a tiny bit of outdoor space that you can gain access to you can have a fire pit you can have a Dutch oven and you can create these amazing meals and um, a lot of it is very very fuel effective you know looking at the hay box for example yesterday you need a few sticks to get that up to temperature and then you just insulate it and it's now more than you know these things come from a time when fuel poverty was a thing and now we're, we're back there we're back again. again so yeah. it's just as relevant now as it was in you know whenever victorian times and yeah they're just awesome it's just great fun being out yeah. and cooking and, and using dutch ovens well i had the most amazing day cooking with this group of wonderful people learning all about dutch ovens expanding my culinary repertoire to include this iconic piece of kit if that's something that interests you get in touch with the guys at fire ferment smoke uk leave them a message they'll be posting their dates on their website pretty soon for their courses they're also going to be doing an open fire cookery course and i'll be featuring that in a future video so if you've liked that give us a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more content like this and i'll see you on the next video folks take care of yourself bye